Nitrogen is an essential nutrient for plant growth, development, and reproduction. Even though it's one of the most abundant elements on Earth, nitrogen deficiency is probably the most common nutritional problem affecting plants worldwide because the nitrogen gas from the atmosphere is not directly available for the plants to use. Plants can absorb nitrogen from the soil as both ammonia and nitrate ions. The nitrogen in soil minerals can be released as the mineral decomposes, but this is a slow process that contributes little to the soil nitrogen content. The most abundant form of nitrogen, nitrogen gas, has a highly stable triple bond which won't be broken naturally. So the nitrogen gas must be converted to one of these forms before it can be useful in the soil. Only a few species of bacteria and archaea are able to absorb nitrogen gas from the atmosphere and convert it to ammonia, nitrites, or nitrates. The bacteria rhizobia is capable of nitrogen fixation and is able to infect and thus take up residence inside the plant root cells, specifically in plants of the legume family. Legumes and rhizobia have a mutualistic relationship in which nitrogen-fixing bacteria provide the plant with ammonia while the legume provides the bacteria with carbohydrates and protection. So how do these bacteria take up residence inside the plant root cells? First, the plant's root hairs release flavonoids to attract the rhizobia. In response, the bacteria release nod factors that bind to the root hair and signal nodulation. The rhizobia enter the root hairs, proliferate, and cause an infection thread. Eventually, the infection thread grows into the cortex, buds off, releasing them into the cortex cells, and the rapidly dividing cortex cells then form a nodule. Crotillaria are tropical legumes that establish symbiotic associations with nitrogen-fixing bacteria of two genera, Bradyrhizobium and Methylobacterium. Together they produce something I can't pronounce, or PAs, as an herbivore defense mechanism, which is responsible for the occasional intoxication of grazing livestock. So now we move on to the data. An experiment was performed in order to determine if the biosynthesis of the toxic PA by Crotillaria is dependent on nodulation. The researchers predicted the prediction of the PAs which are triggered by nodulation-specific transcription factors, and that this first enzyme, homospermidine synthase, or HSS, is produced by the plant, not the microsymbiont, and only in the nodules. The experiment first illustrated that PA biosynthesis is triggered by the nodulation by comparing PA levels in plants with and without nodules. As you can see in the figure, the group of control plants, uninfected with the microsymbiont Bradyrhizobium, and therefore without nodules, had negligible levels of PAs when compared to the infected plant. When compared with absolute amounts of alkaloid in the infected plants, the greatest PAs per plant individual were found in the leaves. However, when concentration in milligrams per gram dry weight was considered, it was by far the highest in the nodules. In fact, the nodules had 10 times greater concentration than the leaves, indicating that nodules are the site for PA biosynthesis. Additional results of the experiment include that exogenously applied nitrate has no impact on PAA biosynthesis, reinforcing the conclusion that PA production is strictly dependent on nodulation. However, it was found that in order to protect itself from an overdose of the essential nutrient, nodulation was inhibited at higher levels of nitrate autoregulation. To establish that PAs are synthesized by the plant as opposed to the microsymbiont, the researchers looked for a plant-specific HSS coding mechanism. HSS is the first step enzyme that, PS, that PA synthesizes. Therefore, if this biosynthesis truly takes place in the plant, then the plant's DNA should have a mechanism to code for it. DNA sequences of plant origin were found that are able to code for HSS, supporting the hypothesis that this first step enzyme for PA synthesis is produced by the plant. The results of the experiment suggest that the synthesis of PAs and crotillaria is directed by the plant via plant-specific enzymes, but cannot occur without bacteria and the formation of root nodules. The symbiosis between nitrogen-fixing bacteria in root nodules and the crotillaria is important for two main reasons. One, providing fixed nitrogen, and two, regulating the plant's chemical defenses. The experiment has greater implications in ecology and agriculture. Manipulating nitrogen-fixating bacteria is a better alternative to adding fertilizer, because applying ammonia-based fertilizer has environmental costs such as nitrogen runoff. Some major course concepts demonstrated by the experiment are A. Organisms form symbiotic relationships to increase evolutionary fitness. B. Plants respond to signals and secrete hormones to form defenses against herbivory. C. The growth of plants is limited by compounds and elements such as nitrogen. D. Bacteria play an important role in the acquisition of nitrogen in plants.